I hope everyone out there is doing wonderful. I'm doing good, and I'm so happy to be doing some type of entertainment. Yes. yes. Well, we're doing the best we can with no drama, whatever. We are doing great. You're a great drama. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, now this is the song, Big Man, that I dedicate to Rob Richardson of the no Blues of Central Florida Blues Society. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a senior citizen. It's coming back to me. I'm getting it now. I'm getting it now. Sheila M. Blues, 
Or you can send it to Sheba the Mississippi Queen on Facebook. So send it to me. And I sent that to somebody already, and they know what it is, so you don't count. <laughs> we got to give our, uh, our, our video person, Cindy, we got to give her for helping us out here. Cindy. You love Cindy, Cindy, Cindy Oliver. Cindy Oliver. Thank Cindy you. Cindy Oliver. Give it up for her. Thank you, baby. So this next song is an original song. And this next song is A Real Good Woman. Oh, yes. Listen.
y'all so much. This next song is an original song that's off our new CD that's coming up, Keeping What I Got. Our CD should be coming out soon. We are uh, with Bongo Boys Record. And the title of the CD is, This Is The Blues. Now, this song is about girls that already got a man, oh, yeah. got a good man, and bragging about your man. Somebody else, so close to my, talking about your man like some kind. 
tell none of my girlfriends about it. Yeah. Girl on Facebook and telling everybody about your man. We're going to tell your story. Yes, we're going to, right now, we're going to do um, my story, a song that I wrote for my mom. My mom is 87 years old. She's down in Miami, and she's doing wonderful. But she's a strong, beautiful black woman. With all the struggles she went through in Mississippi. And working those cotton fields. And having, at about 20 years old, she had about eight kids. But back then, the more kids you have, the more they had to work in the field. And those people then went back to put into emotions and stuff like that. But this story, this song, I dedicate to my mom. And it called Blues of My Soul. Delta at Sunflower, Mississippi. When I left there with my twin sister and several other broken sisters, when my mom took the floor to start a new life. It was years later when I was putting together my blues band that the guitar player brought out his old guitar. And the sound of that slide sticking across those streams took me right back to my Mississippi home. I remember old Mr. John, you play that same way on the porch. At the end of a hard day, even a chopping cop. Yeah. 
croppers. Working all summer long, chopping and picking cotton. At the end of cotton picking season time, there was nothing in money. My mom lost hope that she could ever make it in Mississippi. She made her mind to leave. At that time, a lot of folks started leaving. They never leave their children with friends and relatives until they came back to get them. Some folks went to Washington to pick apples, Georgia to pick peaches, and Florida where they pick oranges and grapefruit and string beans. Well, you can imagine how I felt that night. My mom gathered us all around her and said she was leaving. Our grandfather told us not to worry. We'll come back together. You have you are such a gift to me. I will always remember you, and I thank you for this music that you left, that you gave me. And you are somewhere in Tampa playing music, but you all need to look him up. He's a wonderful person. And once again, with uh, Bongo Boys record, Monique and them, and Gary, uh, Monique and what is that? Monique, I've tried it at, at Bongo Boys record. Oh, true. <laughs> I think it's Gary. If not, forgive me. But this, this is my record company. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. And now we're going to do Poet Rain. Mm -hmm. 